Welcome to our podcast. Hey guys, it's 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. What's happening in London? I hope they're having their happy hour. It's a happy hour, that's 5 p.m. Today we're going to be talking about the Oscars, talking about the origin. You know, we have a little bit of uh, history makers on the Oscars. But anyway, welcome to The Good with Dr. Joe. All right, so this is where you can find us. We're on Instagram, we are on Facebook, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we are where? Everywhere. Everywhere. So welcome to our, to our podcast today. It's really, really good to have you and thank you for joining. And um, I think we're going to have uh, Miss Snow start. Sounds off on what is happening with Oscars. Well, I uh, did not watch the Oscars. I used to yeah. watch it Why every not? year. But um, I'll name off the awards this year. The best actress went to Frances McDormand. Oh, man. Dormand. It Ms. Mech, M-C, D-O-R-M-A-N-D, McDormand, McDormand, in Fight for You. And the best actor was Anthony Hopkins, and he really is a great actor for The Father. Mm -hmm. And the best picture was Nomad, Nomad Land. I've not seen any of them. Maybe. Haven't been to a movie in over a year. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should go all together. But, no, I'm watching movies on Netflix and Amazon, and the, uh, some of the big stars are making movies uh, through those uh, mediums. Mm -hmm. Because I think, uh, I don't think the theaters will ever come back to what they were, what they used to be. What, do you know how much, did you hear about, I think uh, the Mortal Kombat came out this weekend? And just this weekend they made um, 22 million in box sales. Just over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna disagree with Miss Snow a little bit. Do you know why? Because things are really getting better, you know? I think even though it's not everybody that's been agreeing on this issue of the vaccines, but a lot of people are accepting it. It's working for a lot of people. And guess what? You know, Biden, President Biden came out yesterday and actually relaxed the face mask uh, thing a little bit. You know, so now when yeah. you're outside, you don't have to wear a face mask. So I, I'm thinking that if things continue to go like this, if we continue to keep the, the, the system... Well, now yeah. you know, Joe, that that now we have these huge TVs at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, Netflix, mm -hmm. you got Showtime, you got HBO, you got Netflix, you got Peacock, you got Prime. Mm -hmm. Disney Plus. And even all the people like Merle Streep. Yeah. Who's well, one of the, now wait a minute. I know you want to talk, but you wait just a minute. <laughs> one of the most popular, high paid actresses in uh -huh. the world today yeah. is Meryl Streep. And she is making movies for Amazon and Netflix. That tells me that people are going to do more watching at home. And you know yourself in the big houses now, they build home theaters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand that. Look, I, I understand that. But guess what, though? There's right. going to be there's going yeah, to be I'm nothing. going to guess what? what? Yeah. There's not going to be anything like going to the actual theater, Yeah. getting your box of popcorn for ten dollars you know <laughs> you know with your drink overpriced and then you have people at the back interrupting you that's all part of watching the, the movie you know see people come in they're talking and have, doing their own thing the kid kicking you must not have been to a movie like me. i don't crying. go to movies where people sit and talk that's what i'm saying uh, you know? so I'm that's me. Talk in a movie. That'd be me. That's, that's what i'm saying you well, know you need tape put over your mouth as you go in <laughs> No, no, I just hit in the way, way, way back. Or in the front. It's going to happen, you know. I mean, that's, that's, that's life. You know, babies crying, all kinds of oh, stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah. I think they need but to come back with that. I don't know what the kind of theater theaters. you go to, but they, theaters I go to are not like that. That's, the, re that, that's, that's the real one. That's the real one. But anyway, anyway, guys, we're talking about Oscars. We also have a gift for everybody today. Okay. A we gift. have, yeah. Did you say gift? gift? A gift, yeah. A gift certificate of $100. What? Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. so go ahead Thank and chat. You. If you're listening, go ahead and chat. Send us your email. We're going to just email it to you. It's digital, you know. You get okay. your $100 gift certificate and you can use it, you know, towards uh, purchase of any eyewear. You know, that's special. So we're going to be continuing. Would, have to, would you have to use that at Brookwood Eye Care? No, no. Uh, wherever it is accepted, you know. Oh, so, that, yeah, wherever so what it's do you accepted, do? You comment yeah. your email? Yeah, you, so you text your email, you know, go to the chat, text your email, and then we'll be sending that uh, over to you. So that's part of what we're doing, just to celebrate the Oscars. And, and you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of Oscars. And then we're also going to talk about updates on the stimulus package. 
you know, the... Oh, the, geez, not that again. No, no, a lot of the states, a lot of the states actually have grants. Georgia, yesterday, Georgia, the Georgia governor just announced that he has a $2.1 billion. For what? To help people recover from the coronavirus. There, there's, there's money there going to help people pay their rent, you know, right. back rent. For up to fifteen months, you know. And you know, student loans paid. You see, so that, that too, maybe, maybe not, not there yet, but that too, you know. No. So and you know, and you know, there's uh, restaurant owners are complaining about they cannot service the people who want to come in and eat at restaurants because they can't hire anybody to work. Yeah, well, they, well, that that's also Is part there of restrictions it. Restrictions on hiring? Mm -hmm. No, people don't. They make more money sitting at home because oh, that of all is this giveaway true. than they got, can going to work. So there's people begging for work. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, well, I, well, I, mean I mean, there's people begging for employees. I mean, I mean, this is going to happen, you know, this is going to happen. That, that's what it is. You know, eventually, on that minimum wage to go up. eventually, eventually this will pass, you know, give it another year or two, you know, we'll be, we'll be completely out of this, you know, you know, prayerfully, you know. So really, so we're going to talk about that, talk about a little bit of the stimulus package, talk about, you know, what uh, is going on with the PPP and the EIDL. EIDL now, they're also doing increase in loan amount that was given initially it was capped at 150,000 but now they raised that and then also the grant they're also doing some things on the grants but before we do that let's talk about the oscars you know well, let's talk about the origin of oscars you know one thing one thing i like about america is that america the real america was founded on the principles of the bible did you know that look at the dollar the dollar note it says yes. what does it say in god we trust, in god we trust. look at the oscars for example Oscar is an award given to celebrate excellence. And you know what the Bible says in Proverbs? It says, look at those men or women who is diligent in his work. And what's he going to be doing? He's going to be appearing before kings. He's going to be celebrated in front of many, many people. All right, so we want to start first. Give us some, give us some, uh, deal. you haven't said anything yet. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, well, the Oscars were form um, was formerly called the Academy Award of Merit, and Margaret Harris said the statue looked like her uncle Oscar. So, uncle Oscar. Yeah. Wow. So the the statue actually looked like a, an a, a, an uncle called Oscar. So that's where the word Oscar come from. Yeah. All that's right. That's one of the stories. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Of okay. Several stories. Yeah. So, so, okay. So go ahead. What does he get for us? I got the first award winner was Emil Jennings for the film. The Way of All Flesh, and that was in 1927. Wow. It's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And the first woman who had won an Oscar was Janet Gamore in Seventh Heaven. Okay. And then Catherine Hepburn has won four awards for her best actress, so I guess that's the most she currently holds the most awards. That's, that's the most awards that anyone mm -hmm. has ever won so far. Meryl yeah. Streep has three. And then mm. Meryl Streep has nine Golden Glove Awards, correct? Yeah. Also. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary Strip must be very, very good, you know. She must be very, very rich. <laughs> no. you, you see, you know, Oscar, Oscar is something that says you that if you focus your energy, if you put your mind up on anything, whether you are a student, whether you're a business person, whether you're a politician, you can actually get to the top of your career. Mm -hmm. And it, there, there are several ways to do that. I mean, Snow was talking about in association, right? You talk about that. You want to talk what? Uh, association? You know. Do, who, well, no, that handle. was uh, somebody else. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, the Oscars, you know, they have a board who elects. So uh, kind of, um, I think the public should be voting and not a board. Because yeah. when you've got a board of people, it can be bought. Yeah. yeah. And it has been bought many yeah. times. Yeah. Especially in that industry. And mm -hmm. see, what they do out there is people will advertise themselves to for people to vote for them mm. to win the Oscars or to win these awards because once you win that award uh, you're in more in demand and um, it's no, of course nothing's perfect you know nothing yeah. is ever perfect yeah. I, I, I like the idea of uh, you know advertising yourself I like the idea of putting yourself out there because when you put yourself out there that's when people will see what you got if mm -hmm. you don't put yourself out there nobody's gonna know what you got uh, of course, you said you did say that uh, uh, things are not perfect, but I know that we are working towards perfection. So that's the goal, you know. And and sometimes you've seen during soccer games and stuff like that. Sometimes the referee, uh, football games, 
the referee may not be really be uh, doing what quote is perfect, or mm -hmm. maybe he doesn't appear to be fair. But I still believe that should not discourage you from going out to do the best that you can. Oh, yeah, I actually yeah. have a quote that um, you go ahead. A, like comes with what you're saying, mm -hmm. and it's like, as you think you are, you do, you have, and you be. That's it. Say it again. As you think you are, you do, and you be. As you, you think have, you, as are, you are, you are. Yes. Yeah, yeah, as you think yeah. you are, you have, you be. If you have yeah. positive thoughts, you have positive actions. Mm -hmm. And then you produce That's positive exactly. results. That's exactly right. It, it is very, very critical, especially in these days of a lot of rift, a lot of uh, um, social injustice. And oppression. Uh, oppression, and even in the well, home. Do you know it actually starts from the home, between the man and the, and the wife? Well, sure it does, because they, they set the, the standards for yeah. their children. Mm -hmm. However, we now have a such a negative news media. Oh, we have I quit good. watching this the generation. news. Yeah, me too. Because it's so well. discouraging, and it'll pull you down if you watch it. Yeah. And I think... that's. Uh, you know, they advertise all this, and most of it's not even true. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you see, that's one of the... fake, imagined history. That was, that's one of the, good, <laughs> good, one of the uh, great reasons why we started the podcast. The good with Dr. Joe. You mm -hmm. know, we're trying to look for the good in everything. When this um, corona thing broke out, it was everything was doomsday, you know? You right. go to the news... It was bad how oh, we were going to die, how we were going to wipe out, and whatever and whatever. Yeah, it was fear, they were putting fear into it, yeah. society. There the, was nothing you know? good. So we said, okay, let's come up, let's talk about some of the good, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in spite, and that's what we're trying to say, in spite of what is going on with you, whether it's your family, whether with your wife or your husband, with your children, with your school, with your business, with your church, whatever it is, mm -hmm. find the good. Once you find the good and you can see the good, you begin to focus on the good, just like she said. But you know the, how you the, think. That's the what you good, are. the good has to be within you. Yeah, Great. it starts within from you. you. Yeah. Within you, because yeah. if you're looking for it outside of mm -hmm. yourself, yeah, never. you're I not know. going it, to you find see, it. You see, you have to see it. Yeah. You have to see it. It, it. it takes you to recognize what is good, to feel what is good, to see what yeah. is good. Well, it no, it's, from like, you, you know? it's like Creflo Dollar said mm -hmm. today. Yeah, the joy is 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 inner. Yeah. And he said, your faith is inner. Yes. You yeah. will not find faith in the world, mm -hmm. and you will not find joy in the world. Correct. Right. Yeah, it has yeah. to be inside yeah. you. Yeah. And you yeah. have to feed it. Right. Yeah, even the Bible, it's, yeah. it's like, you know. You have to feed uh, that where, faith where you, and that joy everything. with the word. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's all about the heart. So let's go back to the Oscars again. And if you want to talk, if you have any comments, you have a question, the number to call is 678-708-4567. 678-708-4567. Call us and let's stop. I want to be sure that I want to get this in. Mm -hmm. Sidney Poitier. Who? Sidney Poitier, Sydney Poitier. Mm -hmm. a black actor, yeah. one of the best looking men I've ever laid eyes yeah. on. Tremendous actor. He has won multiple awards. Denzel Washington, a terrific actor. Sexy man. Uh, <laughs> You may see him that way. No, oh, no he is. Come on, man. No, I'm no, no homo. That's just kidding. <laughs> but Denzel Washington is a marvelous actor. Yeah, he is too. Yeah, and not only that, yeah. I think he probably is a very fine character as yes. a person. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, he has won awards. Mm -hmm. So somebody has put out something that the, there was a, this year the first black man won an Academy Award. That's not true. Back in 39, 1939, mm -hmm. the black lady that played um, Mammy got an award, Academy Award. Daniel and Kaluuya? Kaluuya? Kaluuya. So what did he do? What was his thing? I'm not sure what he wanted. Come on, I like his speech. <laughs> you like his speech? Okay, yeah, and I like tell us about his speech. Um, I, don't even know what I like how from. he started off thanking God, okay. and his speech just seemed really genuine, rather than everyone like you know all the other like you know people who come up there and get their awards like, oh, I want to thank my producing team and my you know this and that and my well, fans. But years like, ago, when when they had the Academy Awards, people got up there and they thanked 
people who helped them get where they were. And now everybody wants to express their opinions about everything from going to the bathroom to what's happening in or like, Washington, yeah, D.C. Well, and heard. who's interested well, in it? Well, you got to pee, though. If you don't pee, you can pee in a I can't, I'm not interested. I can't remember <laughs> which award show it was, but it was um, when Taylor Swift had won an award and yeah. Kanye had gone up there. Oh, and man. And he had, like, you know, said that she didn't deserve I don't even remember what it was. Yeah, that but, was, yeah, that was he went, like, one other and stated his opinion how she didn't feel like she needed, like, you know. She and who cares about his opinion? That's all part of the drama. You know, don't forget that acting is all about drama. It's all about stage pre pre uh, presence. It's about entertaining people. I think, entertaining it, was very, people, yeah. I think it was very entertaining, even though it was a little bit rude, you know. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit entertaining. And right now, they're all friends, you know. Yeah, I it's think. all just, yeah. I think they're all friends now. They made, it, they made up after that. They're, they're, they're all good now, yeah. It's just a distraction. Yeah, Are well, we acting then, now or is this real? No, no, this, this is, is real. real. This okay. is real, yeah. So this is real. And, and oh, God, I'm glad you told me that because I was getting ready to act. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Okay. Let's see this. Well, well, well you're, welcome. you're welcome to do that anytime. All right, so we're getting some uh, comments. We have some uh, some comments. Uh, you have any questions? You have any comments? Go ahead and call us. And uh, today we're just talking about Oscars. And, and part of what I learned about Oscars is this, you know, Oscar. Oh, I have a couple more. People are there who use their talents to act. So every single human being on this earth, there's some talent in you. There's some good in you that you can do. So don't hold up what you have been given. And some, share with somebody. And everybody acts. Yes. Some because you other. act different with different people. Correct. And it's, sometimes it's a put on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, it's just... Yeah, like, like when you're in the grocery store, like, I'll smell fake, you know? Talk conversation with somebody, like, hey, how are you? Like, how are you? I mean, keep on my day, like, you know? It's the situation, it's the environment, you know? It's genuine. You understand what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's environment, but let let it be true. You know, whatever you do, whether it's acting or real, okay. let it be true. Let, I'm let just, it come. I'm mm. just determined then I'm going to be bitchy all the time, <laughs> everywhere I go. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to stop putting on the nice, little nice, nice act and be bitchy all the time. Go for what, it. What, what, I mean, that's okay. It's okay to be bitchy when it's necessary, you know, because you cannot be nice all the time, you know. When, it, when it's necessary to be, do it. And then when it's, when it's good to be nice, be nice. You know, There's that's nothing more disgusting than all those little nice, nice people. Because right? it's, it's a put on. You know it is. Because oh everybody's not nice, nice all the time. I always know you are whole oh, trip. Oh, Mr. Oh, I love the honesty, though. I love the bluntness. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some of the... Uh, I have a couple more facts. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and tell us more about the uh, Oscars, yeah. Oh, well, these are just fun things. Yeah, like, go ahead. Go ahead. Fun things um, about Oscars. Oh, here's something very interesting. Yeah. Go ahead. Does anybody here remember Marlon Brando? Of course. No. And everybody knows Continue. The Godfather. Yes. Uh, next with the horse in the bed. Yes. I know what it is. <laughs> All right, he, he was elected as best, best actor... Mm -hmm. Or The Godfather in 1973 and turned down the Oscar. He rejected what? it and he mm -hmm. wouldn't even show up at the event. What happened? Was it protested? Was it something happened? I don't remember why. I vaguely remember that. But why he did it, I think he thought the Academy was all a big farce. I see. It probably is. It probably is. They thought that would destroy his career, but it did not. Mm -hmm. But that really was a good movie. Yeah, it depends on what you stand for. you know. Yeah. So what does she have for us? Um, well, the first Academy Awards was May 16th in 1929 at the Hollywood Roosevelt. The best movie was Seventh Heaven, and the second was A Private Dinner. Seventh Heaven. Wow, that, that's interesting. That was where uh, Janet Gaynor mm -hmm, won the award. first award, female award. Yeah. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about some of the stimulus uh, package. How much time do we have left? Oh, man, our time is gone. One more minute. Okay, all right. So I want you to check. Week. Check your emails. Check your emails. The, the SBA is sending out uh, emails for people who qualify for increase in the um, PPP. No, actually, the PPP loan, you can apply. But, yeah, you have to one system. No, I do have a question about, oh, well, you can continue with your PPP, mm -hmm. but it was just about the stimulus and yeah. the divided, but I'll let you finish with the PPP. Again. Yeah, so the, the stimulus EIDL, mm -hmm. Economic Injury Disaster Loan. The cap has been raised from 150 to 500,000. So if you have not gotten email, reach out to your SBA loan officer. Let them know that you're interested in an increase in the loan. If you have gotten an email, follow the link on the email and respond to it. Wish you good luck with that. But our, um, about the stimulus, like I remember in the stimulus package when it came out, I think it was like, you know, 
when uh, Biden approved the uh, 1400 and everything. And I think it's July we're supposed to start, like, getting, or, like, parents with children under the age of 17 are supposed to be getting monthly payments or whatever of, like, $300, I think, or whatever. I don't know too much about that. I don't know if you had more information on that. No, I don't have any information on that. So, I'm gonna, well, let's, let's work on that. I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be monthly or supposed to be a one-time $3,600. No, it's monthly. I think it's from, like, July till... Okay. Sometime later in the year. Okay, so let, let's let's check on that. Let's check on that and we'll update our people on that. All right, so we had uh, a beautiful time today joining. Uh, Miss No, any last words? I think I've said enough for one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right Miss, Miss However, Lauren. I will say I hope everyone has a nice day. It's a beautiful day. Get out and enjoy it if you can. <laughs> I, um, catch you next week. All right, see you next week and enjoy the good with Dr. Jill. Catch us on YouTube and please like our YouTube page, subscribe and share. See you next week, the good with Dr. Jill. Instagram, 12 noon. Eastern.